No, it is. It's, it's getting screwed up. And I feel like every time it's bad, every time the economy's bad or the world's weird, like, like you, you try and figure out who to blame, right? You, it, and, and for a while, I blame Bush and Cheney because they're fucking evil, and then I blame the Democrats because they're spineless, and then I blame David Hasselhoff. That was a weird time. But, the, it, it, if you, but if you look at the whole group, line them all up, they're not different segments of society. It's all people over roughly... 50. Fuck them, all right? Unless you're here, you're cool. But the rest of them, they suck. They destroyed this country. They sucked up everything good. They had all the uninhibited sex. They grabbed all the easy money and the beachfront property. They, 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 they took all the good music into their ears, all the good movies into their eyes, and they left us with fucking STDs, rehab, and the Jonas Brothers. So... <laughs> fuck that. We're sitting through Vince Vaughn movies acting like everything's okay. This, this country is a 90% empty bottle of lube. The party has been had, all right? God damn it. I don't care. I hate, I really, the older generations, I hate them. I don't care who it is. I don't, I don't care if it's fucking Regis Philbin, Oprah, fucking Santa Claus. Fuck Santa, all right? I don't, I don't, imaginary or not, he has borderline superpowers, and what's he use them for? To bring action figures to little assholes. Go, come on, Santa, do, how about this? Stop some genocides, all right? How about that, Santa? Really, just drop some action figures from 30,000 feet with your squad of flying moose. How hard would that be? Just kill some militia men with, you know, you wouldn't even if you hit a hole of them, just a couple of them wake up with a Power Ranger through their medulla oblong gutter, and the others will change their tune. <laughs> Not all of this is funny this side, but it, at least you'll leave here going, I heard sentences I've never heard before. No. That's all that matters. Anyway. Have you ever noticed the words unicorn and acorn both mean one corn? <laughs> That was for the rest of you who weren't liking the other stuff. I just throw that in there. So, yeah, shit's getting bad. It is. And you know, the, like the amazing thing is we think we like it like this. Through miracles of marketing, we're fine with this situ situation. You know, like, like, like think about it. We, we live in a country where the closest most of us get to physical contact on a regular basis is poking someone on Facebook and we like it. We're fine with it. We live in a society where the number one selling item on television is a blanket with fucking sleeves. And we're, we're fine with it. And people ask why America's not producing as many scientists. That's why, all right? Number of Snuggies produced is inversely proportional to number of scientists. By the way, I'm gonna cut some leg holes in a blanket and I'm gonna be a billionaire. I am. You wouldn't buy the puggy? You'd buy the fucking puggy. Don't act, don't act like you wouldn't. Really, we act like, we think we like it like this. We, we live in a country where 90% of the music that's on the radio is written by someone you've never heard of, then chopped up by an agent who sold his soul for 10% years ago, and then digested and shot out by a producer you'd hate if you'd ever met, and then finally sung by some 16-year-old sex pot you can't keep your eyes off of who couldn't sing to begin with, and we're fine with it. We like it, really. We all, we, we, we live in a culture where we all wear faux vintage t-shirts that were mass produced by Walmart, and then you dig through a bin of like 800 of them to find the 1980s cartoon character that best represents you as a person. And we're fine with it, we love it. We live in a country where, where, where every iPhone comes with the douchebag operating system. So your friends can type away on that, ignoring whatever the fuck you're saying. I'll, I'll get back to your face in a second, all right? Right now, I just got a Twitter about an email that Ashton Kutcher just posted a new YouTube video blog on his Facebook page. And unlike you, this can't wait. <laughs> and we love it.